Hi, so what I have here is the Logitech K380 for the Mac. So I want to address whether this Mac-like uh, uh, keyboard can work for Windows. So I just like the white color, and oddly enough, this does not come with a Windows keyboard that is white. So, so I got this, and I want to show everybody whether it'll work for the Windows. So first off, I want to um, show you the pairing. So this has to be Bluetooth. Um, on the side here, there is a button to turn on, turn it on. So once it's on, what you want to do is push and hold one of these gray buttons. So now it's ready for pairing. And on the laptop, what you want to do is go down here in the search menu and search for Bluetooth. So once you search for Bluetooth, this is going to come up. And I am going to click on Add Bluetooth Device. And all the while, this is actually going to be blinking. So this is blinking. It's in pairing mode. So you can see that that's uh, blinking rapidly. So I am, well first, let me go back. And you want to turn on Bluetooth. Make sure you have Bluetooth turned on. And then add Bluetooth device. I'm going to click uh, Bluetooth here. And then it's going to search through all of the items. So it's going to take a while sometimes. Keep in mind, the way I activated this was to press and hold down uh, this button until it blinks rapidly. So I'm going to scroll up and down and see if I could find the keyboard. So you'll see here, this is the K380 for the Mac, and that's the one I want. So I am going to click on that, and then it's going to say it's connecting. And you'll notice it gives me a number here. So I have to go to this keyboard and punch in that number, which is 903-794, and I'm going to click return to pair it. So that's the pin and code. So once I do that, it's paired. And to show you that it's paired, um, so the main thing about this is, and you'll notice it's paired here, it says it's connected. So the main thing about this, you wanna know whether there's a Windows key because if you go towards uh, the bottom keys here, there's the function, there's the control options and command, and then there's the command options and then the um, basically navigation keys. And you're kind of wondering, well, where's the Windows button? and whether these substitute for the Windows button. So I'm going to go down to my laptop here, and I am going to type here virtual keyboard or on-screen keyboard. So on-screen keyboard, and I am going to click on that, and it's going to bring up the on-screen keyboard. So now that this on-screen keyboard is up, I'm going to show you when I push these buttons which button it is. So first, uh, the command button. So I'm going to push the command button, and you'll notice the Windows button and also the menu came up. So this is actually the Windows button. So right away, um, I could show you here that the Windows button does map to the command button. So I'm going to push this side's command button, and you'll notice the same thing comes up. Now, uh, for example, the Windows button here hits the command button, and WinTab works. So... You can see in the background here, when I do the tabbing, it actually works, which is pretty awesome. So this does actually work with a Windows. So even the function button works. So for example, here is the dimming. So, so you'll see in the corner here, it brings up the dimming and um, you know these particular keys. Now uh, here's the volume. So you notice that it also works. And then here's the uh, volume up and volume down. So those keys actually do work. Um, and then there's multiple function keys here, just like you would a laptop keyboard. So let me push, put this keyboard side by side here so that you can actually see the size. So this is a 15 inch laptop. It, it's actually a little bit smaller than 15 inch. It's like a 14.5 inch or something like that. So you could see the comparison of this particular keyboard with the laptop keyboard, which is what I wanted. I wanted a laptop size keyboard on my desk. So just to give you that comparison, uh, let me hold it here so you could see the particular keys. Now the arrow keys are a little bit smaller. So that's a little bit disappointing how small the arrow keys is, but then again, they have to keep this compact. So 
these arrow keys do work well. So just to demonstrate that, I'm going to bring up uh, kind of like Excel. And um, you can see that the cell is right there. And I am going to you know, move this over, move this up, move this down. So these work perfectly. Um, now going back to these special keys. So just looking at the on-screen keyboard, you could see when I'm pushing the Windows key, it's the command key once again, and it works left and right. So sorry being repetitive here. Uh, now the option key is the alt key. So for example, um, alt tab, you know, so, so you could see alt tab is working when I do the alt and the tab in the background. And it's the same here. The alt tab for here also works for the left and right. And then there's the control key. So you'll notice that there's no control key on the right, the control keys on this side. And so these are kind of mislabeled. It'll take you a while to get used to it. Um, but overall, it does work. Now, the other thing I wanted to show, so, so here you'll notice I push the cap button and the cap button, you know, works here. The shift, you know, the shift works. So the major keys that you want to know works actually does work. So let me, let me um, hit the escape. And you'll notice the escape also worked, though it is not highlighted here. Um, and just to show you that, if I bring up the menu and I push escape, the menu goes away, so the escape key does work, even though it's not reflected on the on-screen keyboard here. Now, one thing I did want to address is the software. So I figured, you know, if there were keys that weren't mapped, I would be able to remap them, like the left and right. Uh, by using two tools, either the native Logitech uh, keyboard software that comes with this or the power tools from Windows. Now, neither of those work. So let me just show you what I'm talking about here. So if I bring this up and I search for uh, Logitech K380 software. And then on this side, I'm going to search for uh, Windows power tools. And let me, so that's still searching here. So let, let me get rid of this um, on-screen keyboard. So, gotta, so if I go to support here, you'll notice I could download the Logitech K380 keyboard software. Now if I wanted to download the old, older version, it's right here, so just keep that in mind. Um, but that didn't help. Uh, and then there is this particular software. So I'm not even going to show you that because the key mapping was so limited. So the other ones is this uh, Microsoft Power Tools. So this Microsoft Power Tools um, has a bunch of utilities that uh, allow you to map the keys also. And again, that was not very useful, but I, nevertheless, I wanted to show you, you know, that that particular software does um, kind of come with uh, the key manager tools. So let me just make sure that comes up. And so that that's loading. Okay, so it actually wasn't loading. Uh, before, when I was messing around with the screens, um, I put it on a virtual screen. <laughs> so I put it on a virtual screen. So here it was on uh, one of the virtual screens, which, which let me show you, it was one of these. Um, and again, this screen can be brought up by this Windows key, which is the command key here, and then tab. So, so you notice you know, this does work with, with this uh, K380 keyboard. Um, and I'm going to go here and show you. So this is the power tools. You see power tool settings. And if I scroll down here, 
you can see there's the keyboard manager. So if I click on the keyboard manager, I could turn on the keyboard manager and I could remap a key. And when I click remapping a key, the only problem with remapping a key is that it affects all the keyboards. So not just this particular keyboard. So it actually ends up not being very helpful. And the Logitech software itself is actually less helpful. So you'll notice you could do this sort of thing. Um, but I find that the native functionality, it just works good enough. So the fact that you have the Windows key, um, you know, the control and the alt key, though it'll take a while for you to get used to which key is which, uh, which might get annoying, but you'll get used to it. Um, so the other thing I wanted to mention was these three particular keys. So this lets you pair to three different devices. So before you'll notice I pushed on this key here until it blinked. And this kind of uh, pairs with this particular laptop. But if I wanted to pair, say, with something else, you know, another laptop or another Bluetooth device, I could pair with three different devices and have it work for those three different devices. And uh, the other thing I wanted to do was uh, basically give you a measurement of the keyboard itself. So the actual size is less than 11 inches. Um, you know, it's 27 and a half centimeters, and it's a little bit over 10 and three quarters of an inch, but a little bit under 11 inches right there. Now this angle, so that's kind of the size of this, which is um, four and three quarters of an inch. And if I give you the side, it tapers like that. And um, so this is not even half an inch. It's like, um, you know, one centimeter. It's not, it's not half an inch. It's under half an inch here, thickness. Um, same with this side. And the back here has uh, the, the two triple A batteries. So this thing is going to cost somewhere between $30 to $50. So, so I got this actually refurbished for $28. And I'll have the links in the description area of the video. Um, but I guess what I want to do is, you know, give you an up-close look at all of the keys. Like so. Especially these, how small they are. You know, so it is comparable to a you know, laptop keyboard, just to stack it next to it. Now you can see, once again, like so. Um, and perhaps, you know, just giving you this particular look. So you could compare. Uh, but that's it. That's really what I wanted to mention. And I hope this helps. And the, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, um, you know, ask me below. Uh, usually pretty decent at answering them. Thank you so much.